Hola, everyone. Welcome to Open Hybrid. I'm Rina Valentin, your host, Café Con Leche, for the next hour, coming to you from Chari Executive Suite, <laughs> inviting you to get social with us online. That is, tweet us and follow us on Instagram at Broxnet TV and like us on Facebook at Open Broxnet Television. Of course, while you're there, don't forget, follow me on Twitter, SB, Instagram, Insta Stories, and LinkedIn at Rina Valentin. As we continue honoring the life, work, and leadership of Dr. Evelina Antonetti and what would have been Evelina's 100th birthday with celebrations through concerts, art exhibitions, music, and much more across the city and Puerto Rico, joining us today to share more on Evelina and her family's impact in the Bronx through their activism and bilingual education, food programs, and the youth is Hostess Community College Children's Center Director, Kathy garcia Bo, and social activist, Evelina 100 Centennial Committee Honorary Chair, and Evelina's sister, La Madrina de los Artes herself, Elba Cabrera. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was a long introduction, right? Um, you know, it, it's just, we've been highlighting um, Evelina every single week uh, to introduce her or explain you know, elaborate on all of the different aspects in which she's going to be celebrated, as well as the days. So um, I wanted to make sure or we're trying to make sure that our audience understands that this is like almost a week long festival, kind of sort of that, that is in celebration of, of her contributions to uh, the Bronx, as well as the Latino community. Uh, within the Puerto Rican diaspora, right? And so um, Elba, as her sister, who has had the actual privilege of witnessing all of this, um, let's just open up with sharing how, what does it all mean to you and how, how you're feeling about this? Because it's a oh. big, big event. I'm, I'm so honored and so proud of my sister. She did so much, not only for, for New York, but for the world, let me tell you, she traveled uh, to many states. She traveled to PR. She even went to Europe uh, in conferences. So her, her name is well known everywhere. And every time someone comes up to me and say, if it wasn't for your sister, I wouldn't be where I am today. And you know, you know that really, really gets to my heart. And this has been a very difficult time for me because I've had to go back to so many memories and, and uh, photos and thinking about my whole family. Uh, I used to be la nena de la casa and now I'm the la vieja de la casa. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, to go through my lifetime, it's been, uh, it's been hard. I mean, it has been good, but it's also, brought back memories that I wish I could just grab onto them and still be here with me. That's Aww. how I'm feeling. Yeah, I know. But, oh, you made me a little sad there now too, because I'm feeling <laughs> it, I get it. But the, the celebration itself, it, it's, it just sounds like it's gonna be like- a, It's more than we imagined. Yes. <laughs> I mean, and, they, and you know, you were in on the very beginning that I did the show with you with uh, Nidia. That's right. And we told you what we were planning, but you know, at that time we didn't realize how big it was gonna get. And it's it okay. Had... There's still time. I, I as far as I'm concerned, I think this could be an annual celebration because um, you know, I mean, today specifically though, we're here to talk about the uh, the book reading, um, yeah. the book Las Tres Hermanas, also um the Hostos Children's Center. Um and, and so we have Catherine here with us who uh, maybe we should introduce everybody to Hostos <laughs> Children's Center because I, it's it's a place that I don't even know if many people know exists. Thank you so much for having me here. And thank you to Nidia Edgecombe for thinking of the Children's Center and having us participate. We are really honored to be part of the Evelina celebration. Um, yes, yeah, so the Children's Center has been at Hostos for 40 years. And it's um, an institution that exists to serve typically student parents. So we're not open to the general public, which may be why we're not that well known but we serve the parent population here. Um, many of our students are single parents, young parents struggling to um, hold down full-time work, full-time school and full-time parenting. 
and we provide the opportunity for these students to go off and do what they need to do and not have to worry about their children for one second, which is an incredible gift <laughs> that we're giving to the hostos community. Um, but we're an educationally focused center. We're not just a child care center. Um, and so in that regard, we often partner with other organizations and the um, Evelina people reached out to us. So we will be working with the children. The teachers will be working with the children through stories and art projects. And we have posters displayed across the center with her image on it. Um, we'll talk a little bit about how she came from another place and came to this country and was successful very much like most of the students' parents. Um, so we'll try to make that connection and that relationship. And the fact that Evelina was an advocate for parental rights and for children advocacy um, helps us support our mission. That's amazing. That's amazing. How wonderful. And what age range are we talking about? Oh, they're little, little, two, three, and four two, three, and four, but yeah, you're still making it accessible to them in a way that they can uh, comprehend and which which now leads me into Las Tres Hermanas, right? Because Las exactly. Tres Hermanas, it, written by Nancy Mercado, which of course you're part of that, you're in that story, Elba, right? Um, yes. Has illustrations by almost like this. And, and then I understand there's a coloring book too. Can you talk yes. about that? Yeah, first of all, let me give credit to Casita Maria. It was their idea to get to get uh, uh, this done, and they published it, and they've been very, very, very good in giving us copies. So I, I have to put a, a, that for them. Um, so this was done a few years ago when we had the Las Tres Hermanas exhibit, and it was done specifically for, for children to give out to the children, but it turned out that we had enough that we did give it to adults as well. And many people have told me, I'm not gonna let my kids in on this because they're gonna start messing up the, 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 the little booklet and I wanna keep it as a souvenir. Oh. So that it's become uh, iconic, I guess. Um, so, you know, that's where that came from. And, uh, and, and Casita Maria really should get the credit for for the this this idea. Well, do. thank you for saying that. I love that, right? Because Casita Maria Center for Arts and Education is yes. another institution within the Bronx that serves the next generation from K to um, high school. So um, yes. the the fact that they they're actually contributing in this way, even though I know they're also part of the festival, which is why I I've been telling everybody just go to the website because there's so much going on throughout this entire. I mean, it's not even a festival. I'm calling it a festival. It's a celebration. <laughs> But well, it's real, like a festival. Yeah, but a festival is a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, Evelina would love it because she used to celebrate her birthday every year at UBP. And if you didn't go, you were on her list. Okay. <laughs> So, you know, it's it's appropriate, it's appropriate. Okay, wonderful. And then are you gonna be reading to the kids? I actually will be there making a presentation. <laughs> yes. Uh, if they ask me to read, I'll be happy to. Uh, in fact, we did it during the exhibition. We had a group of students come in from the, uh, they were a little older, they were, they, they were like four or five, yeah, they were elementary. Elementary. From right. another school, yeah. So, no, I would be happy to. And I'll be there with my niece, Anita Antonetti, which is Evelina's daughter. Fantastic. One of her daughters. Yeah. 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 Well, that's going to be, that within itself is going to be really memorable for them yeah. because they're going to be reading and learning. And then here's the family. And, and also, you're part of that story. So, um, how what a wonderful gift you're 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 providing to the next generation, and I think it's so important that we um, we educate them with our history. So thank yes. you for that. Thank you, thank you so much. It, it, that's that's my family, my whole family. And so before we go, really quickly, Catherine, can you tell us what the itinerary looks like for the day? What does the agenda for the day look like? Well, um, Elba will be reading. <laughs> Right. <laughs> um, we'll have a slideshow and the children will have some art projects displayed and we're inviting the parents of all the students to attend. 
And and so what time does that start? Is it open to the public as no, well? Or? So it's a closed event, unfortunately, but it's September 14th, which is a Wednesday from 11 to 12. Could I, could I join in on something? Okay. Evelina would have loved, loved this because that's who she was. She was a very outgoing person. And I think this tribute to her, when she's looking down at us, because she will be looking down on us, she's going to applaud us. And once again, thank you so much, uh, La Maria mm. Artes, Elba Cabrera, who is also the uh, Evelina oh. 100 Centennial Committee Honorary Chair, and of course, Evelina's sister. And uh, thank you again to the uh, Hostos Community College Children's Center's Director, Kathy Garcia Bo, for being here with us, and you guys. Um, I'm sorry, it's a closed event, but for those of you who do attend, Hostos Quien Fue, uh, who was Evelina Antonetti and her two sisters, uh, Children's Story will be part of the Evelina Antonetti Centennial Celebration, which is set to take place Wednesday, September 14th, beginning at 11 a.m. at Hostos Center's Children's Room, uh, which is at 109, uh, 475 Grand Concourse. I, I, I don't know if I should be giving all that information. <laughs> Closed event, but um, for those of you who are watching that attend hostels, you should inquire further. All right, for more information regarding <laughs> multiple events taking place between September 12th through the 19th, visit evelina100.org. We have to take a quick break, but when we return, we're going to talk uh, about an in-person screening, finally, at this year's New York Latino Film Festival. Don't oh. go anywhere. <laughs> 